Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and I'm uh, the professor for a new course that's being offered in Nordic Studies in the spring, which I'm excited to tell you about. The course is Nordic Studies 264. Um, it's called Nordic Explorations of Sexualities and Genders and it's cross-listed with Women's Studies and fulfills the Writing and the Literary Studies general education requirements. So what are we going to do in this course? Well, um, we're going to use literature written by women um, to examine genders and sexualities in the Nordic countries. So in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland and Iceland. As you may know, the Nordic countries were among the first to grant women universal suffrage and they're often seen as examples of gender equity and pioneers with regard to socioeconomic, political, reproductive and LGBTQ rights. Literature by women um, has always played an important cultural role in this region, and it's been used to give voices to marginalised groups and express demands for rights and to expose inequalities that arise when communities have ingrown cultural perceptions of genders and sexualities. So I think reading literature from the 19th century up until today from this region shows us the ways in which gendered and sexualised identities have been portrayed and have changed over time. I've divided the course up into thematic units that examine different things like the socialization of children, the early pioneers of the women's movements, the performance of gender, reproductive rights and motherhood, sexualities, and the effect of language on our perceptions of ourselves as gendered individuals. Along with articles about the current conditions in Scandinavia for women in the LGBTQ community, we're going to read literature from a variety of genres. From children's literature, mm -hmm, we will look at Pippi Longstocking, and 19th century novels to modern dystopian novels, sci-fi and gothic short stories. We're going to read excerpts from many different texts, along with four complete novels. In the course, there are two from Norway, Love by Hanna Ørstavik, which looks at the relationship between a mother and her son, a rather difficult relationship, um, and Egalia's Daughters, which is an early dystopian novel that um, imagines a matriarchal society um, by Gerd Brandenburg. We're also going to read The Faces by Danish author Tove Ditlevsen, which looks at women, madness and creativity, and Troll by Johanna Sinisalo, which is a modern fantastic love story between a Finnish man and a troll that he finds in a dumpster. I think these texts are going to open up a lot of opportunities for some fun and interesting discussions in the classroom. So, Please join me for this course in the spring. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Um, you'll find my address um, on the departmental website. I hope to see you in class. Bye.